it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and it is my 11th book that I've been reading for the 2015 reading challenge. I will put a little link down below in the description box to explain what the challenge is all about but basically it's to read 52 books over the year of 2015 with each book coming from a different category. And the book that I have been reading this week comes from the category of a book set in the future. So I have been reading Intrusion by Ken MacLeod. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you a little bit about the book. Imagine a near future London where advances in medical science have led to the development of a single dose pill which, taken when pregnant, eradicates many common genetic defects from an unborn baby. Hope Morrison, mother of a hyperactive four-year-old, is expecting her second child. She refuses to take the fix, as the pill is known. Her refusal divides her family and friends and puts her and her husband in danger of imprisonment or worse. Is Hope's decision a private matter of individual choice or is it tantamount to willful neglect of her unborn child? Intrusion is a plausible and original novel with sinister echoes of 1984 and Brave New World. So with that blurb, I was expecting quite a lot from this book. Brave New World is one of my favourite all-time books, and if you haven't read it, you really must. Just stop what you're doing right now and read that book. But I was extremely disappointed with this book, to the point where I really don't know what to say about it. I like dystopian things set in a future where the government is all controlling and there's a rebel who tries to do anything other than follow the government's rules, who tries to break free from this oppressive state. But this... It's so difficult to even think of anything to say about this book. It starts off with Hope and Hope is married to Hugh and they have one son, Nick, and Hope is pregnant. And they live in a world where, as, as the blurb tells you, you can swallow a pill while you're pregnant and it will make sure that your child is born without any birth defects or disabilities. And although it's not compulsory to take this tablet, you do have a choice. They make it very difficult for you to have the choice. The government make it very difficult for you to have the choice. And Hope doesn't want to take it. She doesn't really explain why she doesn't want to take it. She just doesn't want to. And mothers at her son's school treat her and her son very badly because of her decision not to take the fix. And I was really expecting some sort of rebellion, uprising, bringing down the government, bringing down the medical institutions with protests and I don't know something really gritty and you know something to make you think about our governments and what they're trying to enforce on us that we don't agree with and a book that really makes you think it gets into the depths of human behaviour and controlling governments and it just fizzles out it doesn't even feel like this book was written by the same person or in the same sitting it is very disjointed there are characters that are quite unnecessary um, things happen that are quite unnecessary a lot doesn't happen as well which is very boring you just kind of plod through the pages and it gets to a point where Hope is feeling very pressurised by social workers and, and different people to take this tablet. So she says to her husband, let's go up to Scotland, visit your parents, and it will give me time to think about whether or not I want to take this tablet. And we can just have a nice time with the family, be out of the way of everything that's going on in London. And so they go, and I think that something exciting is going to happen. And it does, but then it fizzles out again. And there's, there's no real coherence in this book. It doesn't feel like 
the author's kind of thought out the story. It doesn't really flow. It, it's disjointed and slightly uncomfortable to read, but not in not in an interesting way, not in a way that makes you want to kind of keep going to find out what happens at the end. The ending is, is extremely disappointing. Just when you think something exciting is happening, it then stops. And the characters are bland. And this idea of forcing women to do things to their bodies that they may not want to do and the moral implications of it wasn't really touched on at all. It it was just a group of women, you must take the fix, you must take the fix, you're a child abuser if you don't do this. And then that's it. And there was n nothing really intense or exciting. And, and when it says it, you know, it's um, reminiscent of 1984 and Brave New World. I mean, Brave New World leaves you cold. It is such a brilliant masterpiece of literature that this... It's just nothing in comparison, nothing at all. And I'm so sad because, like I say, I do like this futuristic dystopian controlling government theme that runs through a lot of books. And this was just a pathetic attempt at it. It really was. I can't, I can't even, I don't even want to use it in the same sentence as 1984 and Brave New World because those books were ahead of their time and they really made a statement about the world and this just makes a statement about what a bad author this is someone who hasn't really kind of formulated their ideas into any sort of coherent story so normally when I read a bad book I do say give it a go um because it you know you might enjoy it but this is just awful don't give it a go don't even look at it in the library or in a bookshop it just it's just not even worth it and I can't even remember half of what happens in the middle because it was just so dull so dull so I'm quite sad about that because like I say I like the futuristic things perhaps I should have chosen something that was set further in the future rather than in near future the, it, it was futuristic in as much as the google glasses were being used although not mentioned as google glasses but glasses that you can put on and you can kind of see things that aren't there and kind of non-touch screen things you kind of wave your fingers around in the air and you can see things on your on your glasses but mm, very very disappointed with this one which is a shame so hopefully my next book will be something that I can really enjoy and get my teeth into because I, I feel drained after reading this and empty. So that's quite sad. But if you would like to see any of my other book reviews, then please subscribe to my channel. I do promise I read some good ones. They're not all good like this one, but I, I've read quite a lot of good books. So if you would like to hear any of my other book reviews, then please subscribe to my channel. I also give out uh, writing advice every now and then and do some shameless self-promotion by talking about my own writing and what I'm getting up to in my writerly world. So if you're interested in reading or writing, then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye bye.